uh, Ron back here with another video. Today we're going to uh, do a uh, kind of a review of the uh, GoPro uh, Media Mod for the Hero 9. And, um, you know, before we get started, I, I want to, you know, uh, show you a breakdown of my setup of what I have on my rig here. And then we're going to go out to the field in wind and, and, you know, traffic and all sorts of noise conditions. And we're going to test the sound quality. Of the mics on the media mod and then we're going to put that against the sound on um external microphone because the uh the media mod has jacks to plug in external mics so uh should be an interesting test today and uh you know i'm gonna you know show you my rig so uh stay right there okay here um here is the hero 9 you probably you almost don't recognize it with all the gear on it here but i have the um the media mod case on that's the the shell here on the outside and uh let's see here i hope you can maybe i need more light here there we go um the, I, I have some accessories on it which we will you know show in the field uh number one i have uh, i guess i'll start here i have the free well uh circular polarizer filter on it um you know i replaced the regular lens with that lens i have the um Bloom Cube 2.0 uh, light on the top because uh, we're going to go out right around sunset. So we're going to try some additional lighting here to help. It also has the um, the uh, diffuser the diffuser plate on here. It just magnetically you know goes on the front here. I won't take it off because may may not get it back on again. Um, and I'm using the Alonzi um, stand here, a stick tripod, uh, you know for the uh, Hero, Hero 9, uh, fit any GoPro. Um, and on the case itself, on the media mod, I have the uh, the wind the wind muff here, uh, the foam on here to um, you know, dead and sound out out in out in the field uh, because this has a mic on the front and a mic on the back, so you can use either mic get out out in the uh, you know in the real uh, world situations here. And uh, so we're going to test that mic and also on, it has two cold shoes, a cold shoe up here and a cold shoe on this side over here. And what I have here is a um, external mic by Movo. They make a lot of mic products. They make a lot of products similar to, um, uh, the, you know, the, the Rode uh, products uh, at a more affordable price. So you can see where I have it on the shoe here on the side here. And uh, I have it plugged in in the 3.5 millimeter external jack on the back so that's kind of my setup we're going to be using in the field today and we're going to start out by testing the uh the built-in uh mic for the media mod and then the second round of tests we're going to test the see if we get a different performance out of the um you know the uh the mic here with the um dead cat on it to see how much that uh cuts down on wind and ambient sounds over the um the, the foam uh, you know cover here if, if it does at all so um, again that's that's my setup for the field so when um, we return here uh, in the next portion of the video we will be out uh, out by the bay at, uh, at at sunset here so um, you know stay tuned we'll be right back hello everyone uh, this is Ron back with another uh, review of the uh, GoPro Hero 9 um, I'm down here at the uh, Swift Marina at the Bayside in uh, beautiful Margate City, New Jersey tonight. I uh, got a little sunset action going on tonight. It's not as good as I hoped it would be, but uh, you know we got a little color over there. So um, what I'm basically doing here is a sound test. I have the uh, the GoPro um, Media Mod uh, on on the camera now, mounted on the tripod, and I'm using the uh, you know the standard mic. Um, on it uh, here now I do have a, a Movo uh, a mic uh, similar to a, a, a road uh, mic knockoff here with a, with a dead cat on it it was windy earlier today but it doesn't seem to be a lot of wind right now so um, hopefully this is uh, sounding good um, uh, this is uh, the front facing uh, mic now and I'll move to the back here in a second and we will test the back mic out here and I also have the um, the Freewell uh, circular polarizer filter uh, for the um, GoPro Hero 9 that I uh, showed. I did an unboxing and first look in a previous video. 
uh, and I have that on right now uh, to see if that can, um, you know, bring back a little of the natural color. Uh, and, uh, you know, I also have, uh, you know, uh, previously posted an unboxing of the uh, Hero, uh, Hero 9 also. But um, um, I got car traffic here. I'm right by, you know, somewhat of a busy little road here. So we'll, we'll see how that uh, shows up too. I'm going to move to the back of the camera now and see how it sounds from the other mic. Okay, I've, uh, I'm right here in the back. Uh, uh, I've been the uh, nice thing about the, uh, you know, the, the media mob. When you put it on, you get um, sound, um, little sound, uh, uh, you know, like a, I'm, I'm trying to think what I'm trying to say. Like it shows, you know, your, your sound input, like a scale that goes back and forth, a, a volume meter. Uh, I don't know what the proper term is, but, you know, I can see that I'm clearly recording by the meters. You know what? And I don't know, I don't think the front shows you the meters. Let me go around and look at that front-facing camera, because that's one of the big things about the Hero 9 is it has that front-facing camera. Let me see if these little meters show up in the front-facing camera. All right, I'm back in the front again, and no, the uh, the little meters did not does not show up in the front facing camera. So I'm going to keep talking as I'm moving around from the front to the back and see if uh, you know you hear any kind of like 360 uh, audio here. So um, you know you, you could uh, you could tell me whether the sound I won't know until I get home is better from the front or the back. But what we're going to do is we're going to stop the video here for a second. And we're going to uh, convert from the, uh, you know, the mic on the medium mod, which I did have the wind, uh, the wind foam thing. I don't want to call it dead cap, but the wind foam blocker uh, attachment on it. Um, so that was on because, again, I think in any outdoor situation, you want that wind blocker on. I'll test it without the wind blocker in the indoor situation, but I don't think they're used to on an outdoor situation, especially when I'm near traffic. But I'm going to stop this. I'm going to switch over to the Movo uh, external uh, microphone that uses the 3.5 millimeter jack to put in the back of the uh, media mods. Um, one of the three additional ports it adds on to... Um, to the regular GoPro setup. So um, I'm going to stop and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I have the, um, you know, my Movo external mic up, uh, you know, hooked up. I told you it has a, the three, three and a half millimeter uh, a jack that attaches to the back of the medium mod. And I have it on the uh, mounted on the side of the Hero 9 and one of the hot shoe uh, mounts. So, um, let me know how this uh, video's uh, audio is sounding, if this sounds any better or worse than the uh, mic on the uh, media mod. I'm going to walk, uh, you know, I have it facing me. This is a directional mic, uh, which the other one was directional too, so there was a mic on the front and the back both. Or this is a directional mic, and I have it facing, you know, towards the front. Um, so I'm going to walk around the back, and I'm going to check the audio meters to see, um, you know, how, how it does facing the wrong direction, which I know it can't be good, but at least... Uh, you know, maybe this will cut down some of that traffic noise you hear passing by. So I'm going to walk around here and keep talking. So, uh, yeah, the sun's, uh, we're almost, you know, to sunset now. I think the sunset would be around 525 or something like that. But, um, you know, uh, we basically have the cloud cover has, um, you know, uh, basically taken our uh, sunrise away from us. So I brought the... Uh, Mavic 2 Pro with me tonight. Uh, I've got some updates uh, you have done on that. Uh, some software updates and stuff, and uh, uh, you know, since I last floated, but um, no use getting it out tonight. I don't think it's going to be, um, you know, anything worth uh, capturing tonight. I, you never know, but uh, I don't think I'm really going to get anything tonight. You know, I have another um, thing I want to test here. I, I've actually put the um, oh. Um, let me think of it. The Loom Cube strobe light. I don't know, you know, just the, not, not the, you know, not the Palo Mini, the new one, but the old one. I guess they just call it the Loom Cube strobe. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I'm going to turn that on now and see how that, um, it brights up, brightens up, uh, the scene off. I don't know if I need any brightness yet, but we're going to turn it on and just see how it works on here. All right, I, I have the Loom Cube light on top now. I have it, uh, you know, I don't have my uh, my phone out, so I don't know what setting I have it on, how bright I have it on, what percent. But I do have the diffuser filter on it. Um, does that help light my face any better? Does that uh, make me look like a, you know, Hollywood movie star out here instead of a man standing in the shadows? Um, 
you know so now we got I mean, we got the sound going here we got the loom cube uh, light on top here this is like a professional vlogging rig here uh, I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a big star after this video goes viral right right <laughs> so uh, I, I hope this is hope this is turning out at, at all you know uh, they're not gonna give you a close up there my beautifully lit face from the loom cube light and I'll go back further here and see if you can still hear me from uh, I'm about maybe six feet away from the camera now how how do I sound now let me uh, walk a couple steps closer now I'm about three feet away from the camera does that make a big difference and you know now I'm down to you know maybe you know less than two feet away from the camera so that's uh, that's a different uh, you know lengths I can get um, I don't know why you want to talk any more than six feet away from a camera, which I am now, and I, I could step further back here. Uh, it's a slippery slope back here, but here I'm maybe like, you know, eight feet away now. Can you still hear me? Can you hear me now? As they said on the Verizon commercial. So uh, I don't want to get too further back here and wind up in the, in the drink. Uh, bad time of year to wind up in the, in the drink. I'd uh, get, uh, what do you call that, Hy hypothermia or something like that if I, um, you know wound up in the in the drink this time of year so uh yeah i'm here near it's a you know the traffic because i'm here near the toll bridge in margate that takes you from the barrel Island and that back to the mainland so uh you know it's saturday night here and uh you know things are popping I, I, i'm kind of just joking uh, uh in these beach resort towns in new jersey in wintertime they're mostly like ghost towns or whatever but you know there are a few people moving around because it's a warmer than uh, usual day around here so um yeah, a, few, a little bit extra movement here. So I'm going to walk to the back again here and monitor things. Okay, what I'm going to try to do now, I've, I've used the sound from the media mod and I've used the sound from the, the Movo uh, external uh, mic with the dead cat on. But now I'm going to see if I can get in there and uh, disable... You know, I don't even know how to do this yet. So I may not have... I'm going to disable all the mics and just use the standard mics on the GoPro. Would I have to take the media mod off to just use the standard uh, mics on the GoPro? I, I think I would because I probably got them blocked with this case. Maybe, maybe not because um, I, I don't want to take everything like, apart here really and set it back up again but um, may, maybe I can figure out how to do it without taking this rig apart. Go. Hello, uh, this is Ron. I'm doing the um, test of the built-in microphones on the GoPro Hero 9. Um, I, I, I couldn't do this out in the field. I, I, well, I could have. I just didn't realize I had to take everything off. But, uh, okay, we're just, we just have the GoPro, nothing hooked up to it outside of, you know, it, uh, uh, it sitting on a stand. Um, so, uh, this is the sound test. How do I sound? This is the front-facing Mac mic. And in a second, I will uh, turn this around and we will test the uh, the mics on the back of the uh, Hero 9. So let's, let's do that right now. Okay, so, um, sorry I don't have more attractive uh, something to show you rather than my window here and it's almost nighttime. So this is the mic on the back of the Hero 9 and we want to test this as how it compares to the front facing mic and how it compares to the uh, microphones uh, that I used outdoors. That was the uh, the built-in uh, mic on the media mod and the Movo external uh, microphone. Uh, so I mean, this of course is a, a a laboratory condition test here. I'm in my office. I don't have any of the sound source going in here. The door closed, so I'm in a complete kind of like noise-free environment right here. So I mean, this uh, if this sounds good, it should sound good because it has no you know no challenges or obstacles sound good when we were outside we were dealing with wood noise um traffic noise ambient sounds uh so okay this completes the uh mic test of the uh hero nine and um hope you enjoyed it i hope you got something out of it out of it and if you did uh you know uh hit the uh, thumbs up if you like the video subscribe to the channel if you want to see uh, more videos uh like this uh and uh don't forget the bell notification so you will know when i post those videos so um and, and i will leave links uh, down below for everything i showed you in the video um and i also will leave a link you know if you want to uh buy me a hot cup of coffee uh with paypal but actually i'd rather just have you uh 
purchase something, uh, you know, use my links, most of them will be Amazon links, to buy uh, something. Uh, that, that's you know, the best way to help the channel out, is just use the links. And remember, even if you don't want to buy anything I showed in the video, just use the link to buy something off, off, else off of Amazon. You want to buy uh, anything, you know, uh, <laughs> a new shirt, uh, you know, some dog food, uh, whatever. Just you go in, use my link to go in and then, you know, uh, then select the items that you would like to uh, purchase that have nothing to do with this video, put them in the cart. As long as you use my link to start the process, I will get, you know, uh, a little uh, percentage off of that. So it all helps the channel out to get new, uh, new, new things to review, test out, whatever. So um, with that being said, uh, you know, enjoy the day wherever you happen to be. And, uh, you know, as they say on, on, you, on the YouTubes, uh, see you in the next one.